Welcome back to my channel Miss Medicine. Today we will discuss about Opsan Gaini instruments. So let's get started. First instrument is Sims Bivald Speculum. It has two blades and one handle. Advantages of Sims Bivald Speculum. It retracts posterior vaginal wall. The groove in the center also drains the secretion or bleeding. This keeps the area dry. Disadvantages of Sims Bivald Speculum. It is not self-retaining instrument. It needs an assistant to hold speculum. Enter laterally. PGE1 introduction. Uterine prolapse. FC TNC cervical punch biopsy. Pap smear and push bladder in VH. Uses of Sims Bivald Speculum. It used in gynaeopedy for following procedures. Taking pap smear, insertion and removal of copper tea, colposcopy, taking swabs, and hysterosalpingography. Uses in gynae operations, DNC, cervix biopsy, vaginal hysterectomy, Fothergill's operation, repair of vesicovaginal fistula and hysteroscopy. And uses in obstetrics for inspection, bluish discoloration in early pregnancy, Local cause for threatened abortion, local cause in antipartum hemorrhage, first trimester MTP by suction q detach, in second trimester MTP by ethacridyl lactate, and os threatening or cervical encirclage. Removal of os tightening stitch at the onset of labor or at 38 weeks, inspection for suspected rupture for membrane, after forceps delivery to trace for cervical tears. Next instrument is Cusco's bivalve self-retaining speculum. It retracts anterior and posterior walls of cervix. Disadvantages Obscures vaginal walls, so lesion may be missed. Insert and remove IUD, intrauterine device. Next is retractors. Doyen's retractor. It is non Depressed bladder in CS. Doyen's retractor. This instrument is used for retracting bladder during abdominal operations like LSCS, abdominal hysterectomy, and laparotomy. The smooth edge and the curvature retracts the bladder and protects it during surgery. Next is Kelly's retractor. Abdominal wall retractor self retaining. Artery forceps. Artery forceps. This is a hemostat used for clamping bleeding vessels. It is used for grasping tissue at the time of operation, opening and closing peritoneum. It is also used to hold stay sutures. It comes in two shapes, straight and curved. Usually straight is used for rough work like stay and curved is used as hemostat. Mosquito small artery forceps. Needle holder. This instrument is used for grasping needle at the time of suturing. The inner surface of tip has crisscross serrations and a small groove for firm grasp of the curved needle. The box joint is placed very close to tip to give adequate pressure because of the lever effect. Next instrument, Volsalem forceps. It's a long instrument with gentle curve so that the line of vision is not obstructed. The tip of the blades have 3 to 4 teeth to hold anterior lip of cervix, posterior lip of cervix and cervical stump in subtotal hysterectomy. Insertion of IUCD, cervix biopsy, DNC, first trimester MTP with suction evacuation, cervical biopsy, Fothergill's operation, vaginal hysterectomy, posterior lip of the cervix is grasped for posterior colpotomy. Since the teeth are sharp, it is not used in the pregnancy, so it may cause cervical tears and lacerations. Instead, sponge holding forceps are used to grasp the cervix. Next, instrument Alice tissue forceps. This instrument is used for grasping tough structures like rectus sheath or fascia in operations like tubectomy. LSCS, abdominal hysterectomy. It have interlocking teeth catch and lock. 
It used to hold peritoneum rectus sheath, anterior lip of cervix, traumatic arrest, huge sterilization by autoclaving. Next instrument is tenaculum forceps. It is long with single tooth at tip. It catch present. It is used to measure gynae procedures like abdominal hysterectomy, catch hold of vault or cervix, traumatic hold films structures like cervix. Next instrument Babcox forceps. The tip is atraumatic as there are no sharp tooth. This instrument is used for grasping tubular structures like fallopian tube into bectomy, in modified pomeros operation, ureter appendix, etc. Next instrument sponge holding forceps. Hold the pregnant uterus less traumatic than vulsalum forceps. In traumatic postpartum hemorrhage, walking around cervix, at least three sponge, one at 12 o'clock position and other to look for trauma, holding forceps to visualize cervix. It is used for cleaning and wrapping in surgical procedures. Next instrument is green armitage forceps. This forceps is used as a hemostat in caesarean operations as the tips are broad, wide area can be pressed. In LA LSCS, the cut uterine edges bleed. This forceps is applied to the angles and lower and upper edge of incision. The common indications for LSCS are fatal, distress in first stage, CPD, abnormal presentations like transverse lie, bro, bridge in primidi gravida, and previous two scars on the uterus. Next is coacher's forceps, clamp. The tips of the plate have teeth so that the tissue does not slip. This instrument is used for holding pedicles in hysterectomy. The blades can either be straight or curved. This instrument is used in hysterectomy to clamp pedicles which are then transfixed. It is also used for salpingectomy in ectopic or ophrectomy in ovarian. This can also be used for clamping umbilical cord new bone at the time of delivery or for artificial low rupture of membranes ARM. Next instrument ovum holding forceps. The tip of this instrument is rounded cup like to avoid perforation and to hold large tissue. This instrument has no catch. This is to avoid perforation of wall. It helps in the removing the products of conception inevitable, in complete abortion and in MTP operations. Dissecting forceps non tooth Myoma screw to hold the fundus of uterus in myomectomy and hysterectomy. Towel clip hold towels. Next instrument is Leach Wilkinson cannula. Hydrotubation for tubal patients. It is straight instrument with conical tip. This cone is screwed into the cervix, then dye is injected. Next, scissors. Myo scissors, curved myo scissor, straight myo scissors, episteomy scissors, catheter, malicotes catheter, foley's catheter. It continues bladder drainage after surgery, abdominal vaginal hysterectomy, Wertheim's hysterectomy. Repair of vesicular vaginal fistula, atonic blood, EASI, second trimester MTP for extra amniotic installation of ethacridyl lactate, sonosalpingography. Next is metal catheter, intermittent drainage as in vaginal hysterectomy. Uterine sound or uterine sound, it's a long instrument with blunt tip to avoid perforation. About 5 cm from the tip, it's bent to make an angle of 30 degrees. It has margin on its instrument for measurements. Bladder sound has no markings. The angle helps to negotiate curvature of the uterus. Antiflexion. It is used for measuring uterocervical length, length of the cervix for diagnosing supravaginal elongation of the cervix. To feel any pathology inside the cavity like fibroids, subpolyp, congenital anomalies like septa or bicornuate uterus, adhesions or synchae, to feel for the misplaced of IUCD, it can create false passage or perforation especially in soft uterus in pregnancy. 
Next is uterine curate. It have blunt end used in obstetrics and if have sharp end it used in gynecology. Used for scraping endometrial cavity to obtain sample for histopathology. Diagnostic DNC is done commonly for menorrhagia, endometrial carcinoma, infertility, tuberculosis of endometrium. It also has secondary beneficial advantage of reducing the bleeding in menorrhagia. Next is Hagar's dilator. It is used to dilate cervix, long rod like instrument with gentle curve and tapering tip. It is used for dilatation of the cervix in processes like DNC, DNE, Fothergill's operation, hysteroscopy, cervical stenosis, primary dysmenorrhea. The dilators are numbered as per outer diameter. Number 8 means outer diameter of 8 mm. For DNC dilation up to 8 is done for MTP dilatation up to 12 may be required. Very large dilatation can cause cervical incompetence perforation. Next instrument Matthew Duncan's dilator. Next instruments for pap smear. Cervix sampling devices. Cervix brush, cytobrush, plastic spatula, woodrus spatula and different types of sampling devices. Next iris spatula. It made up of wood so that cells can adhere to its pore surface. Used for taking pap smear for screening of carcinoma cervix. The long end is inserted into cervical canal and rotated in 360 degrees. The exfoliated cells obtained are smeared on glass slide and fixed in complex jar which contain ether and alcohol in equal amount or by hairspray. The other broad end is used for obtaining cells from lateral vagina for knowing the hormonal status and buccal smear. Next is cervical brush. Some instruments for family planning. Copper tea. Female condom. Male condom. Balloon tamponade with condoms for postpartum hemorrhage. Next is Carmen cannula plastic. It is of different sizes and the approximate size required for a particular case equals to the weeks of pregnancy to be terminated. The plastic cannula has got advantages over a metallic one as it causes less damage to the uterine wall and the products sucked out can be visible. The vacuum must be broken before withdrawal. Next is Carmen's syringe for menstrual regulation, menstrual regulation and endometrial aspiration. The capacity is 50 milliliter. The tip has a rubber attachment with valve. Next instruments for laparoscopy. Trocar and cannula. It is used for laparoscopy. Trocar is put into the cannula and then inserted into abdominal cavity for laparoscopy. It is also called port port of entry to telescope and other instruments. It is numbered as per outer diameter. 10 mm is used for operative telescope. 7 mm is 7 mm is used for band applicator for tubal ligation. 5 mm is used for other hand instruments like grasper. A reducer sleeve is available to use large size port for small instrument. It has a trumpet wall to prevent gas leak. On one side, there is opening for connecting it to gas, carbon dioxide or air. Next, varies needle, putting air or carbon dioxide in the peritoneal cavity for laparoscopy. Next instrument, operative vaginal delivery. Vacuum extractor, ventos, cup for vacuum extraction. Wrigley's outlet forceps, 
of static forceps for outlet forceps delivery. It has pelvic curve. Parts of the forceps are blades, which has windows or fenestrae. But forceps is straight forceps with only cephalic curve and no pelvic curve. Uterine contractions must be good. Rotation of vertex near complete. Local anesthesia and episiotomy. Episiotomy must be given. Next is Pinard's fetal stethoscope for the auscultation of fetal heart. Next is umbilical cord clamp, which we use to clamp the umbilical cord after delivery. Next instrument is Rubin's cannula. Indications of Rubin's cannula to inject a dye into the cervix to perform hysterosalpingogram (HSG) to detect patiency of fallopian tubes in cases of infertility and also for diagnosis of cervical incompetence, congenital anomalies of the uterus and Asherman's syndrome. Next instrument, long curved forceps. Indications, maternal exhaustion, prolonged second stage, occipito, posterior position after coming head in beach delivery. Next instrument, papicox forceps. To hold soft tissues like ball, appendix or fallopian tubes during abdominal surgery. Next instrument, meds and bomb scissors. Used for cutting delicate tissues, have longer handle to blade ratio. Next instrument, metallic ventos cup, malmastrom. Malmstrom are present in four sizes. 30, 40, 50, 60 mm. Indications same as forceps, chignon formation, artificial caput succedanum. Advantages over forceps. It completely dilated, cervix not required, can be applied in malrotated, occipital posterior position, less traction and less skill. Disadvantages cannot be used in fetal distress or prematurity. Contraindications of Malmstrom. Presentation other vertex, preterm fetus, high station, CPD, and fetal coagulopathy. Complications, fetal scalp injury, cephalomatoma, intracranial hemorrhage, and retinal hemorrhage. For maternal, it causes genital tract lacerations and tears. Next instrument, obstetric hook with croquet. Hook is used to apply groin traction in dead fetus. Hook is also used to pull down the leg of a dead fetus in transverse lie. Croquette is used to apply traction on fetal lower jaw, orbit, foramen magnum, etc. to extract decapitated head. Croquette is also used to apply traction on fetal head after craniotomy. I hope you found this.